Hello students, in this session we will discuss three hinged parabolic arch. So we will start with definition of arches and then we will discuss different type of the arches. After that we will discuss advantage of three hinged parabolic arch and then we will discuss important equations to solve numerical. After that we will solve a numerical. So let's start with definition of arch. So a curved girder having convexity upward and supported at its ends is known as arches. Extensively it is used in bridges, aqueducts and over the doors and windows. So now let's discuss different types of the arches based on number of the hinge it has. So the first type of the arch is called three hinged arch because the arch has total three hinges. Two hinges at the end of the arch and one at the center of the arch. Now the second type of the arch is called two hinged arch. So here again in this picture you can see that the arch has two hinges both at its end. Okay that's why the arch is called two hinged arch. Now the another type of the arch is called single hinged arch because in this type of the arch there is only one hinge which is at the center of the arch. That's why it is called single hinged arch. And the last and fourth type of the arch is called fixed arch because there is no hinge in this type of the arches. You can see that both the end of the, this type of the arch has fixed end. Okay, and there is no hinge in between. That's why this kind of the arches are called fixed type of the arches. Now, let's discuss advantages of three hinge arches. So, here in the picture you can see that this is the three hinge type of the parabolic arch. Okay. So the first advantage of this kind of the arch is it is statically determinate structure. That's why it is easy to analyze. Okay. Now the second advantage is it has higher compressive strength. Now it also provide more headroom below the arch. Okay. And the last advantage is for the same span and loading section required is small. So these are the advantages of three hinge arch. Now let's discuss few important equations that we need to remember to calculate numerical of three hinged parabolic arch. So here is the first equation to calculate radial shear. Radial shear is denoted by capital F and it is equal to V cos theta minus X sin theta. Now here is the equation to calculate normal thrust. Normal thrust is denoted by capital N and here is the equation to calculate normal thrust. So N is equal to V sin theta minus H cos theta. Now here is the equation of parabola. Y is equal to 4R upon L square into X into in bracket L minus X. So we need to remember all these three equations to calculating our numerical. Now let's solve a numerical. Here one three hinge parabolic arch is given. So here you can see that here is the three hinge parabolic arch. There are hinge at point A, point B and point C. Total span of this arch is 20 meters. So capital L is equal to 20 meter. And central rise 3 meter. It means you can see that here central rise small r is equal to 3 meter. It carries a point load of 10 kilo newton at 7.5 meter from the left hinge. Here left hinge is at point A and the arch has one 10 kilo newton point load. So here you can see that this is 10 kilo newton point load which is at a distance of 7.5 meter from the left hinge which is point A. Okay. Now we need to calculate normal thrust, shear and bending moment at section 7.5 meter from right end hinge. Remember one thing here we need to calculate bending moment at a section which is 
7.5 meter away from right hinge. Okay. So here the right hand hinge is what? At point B. So we need to calculate bending moment at 7.5 meter away from point B. Okay. Now we also need to calculate maximum positive and negative bending moment and their position. Okay. So here are the steps that we will follow to calculate this numerical. In step number one, we will calculate support reactions. Support reactions are VA, VB and H. So first of all, we will calculate support reactions. After that, we will calculate thrust and shear. Then in step number three, we will calculate bending moment at a distance 7.5 meter from right hinge. Okay. Then in step number four, we will calculate maximum positive bending moment and then we will calculate maximum negative bending moment in step number five. So let's start with step number one. In step number one, we will calculate support reaction and for calculating support reaction, first of all, we need to take moment about point A. Okay, so let's take moment about point A. So we can say that anti-clockwise moment is equal to clockwise moment. Okay, now here you can see that this upward acting reaction VB will generate anti-clockwise moment about this point A. Okay, and moment of this reaction VB about point A is equal to VB into distance. Which distance? Distance between line of action of this VB and point A which is 20. So, moment of this reaction VB about point A is equal to VB into 20. Now, this 10 kN downward acting load will also generate moment about point A which is clockwise in a nature and it is equal to 10 into 7.5 okay 7.5 is the distance between line of action of this 10 kN load from point A okay so I am getting VB is equal to 3.75 kN now we can say that VA is equal to total load of this arch minus VB. Total load is 10 kN and VB as we calculated it is 3.75 kN. So I am getting VA is equal to 6.25 kN. So here we have calculated VA and VB both. Value of VA is 6.25 kN and VB is 3.75 kN. Now, for calculation of H, we need to take moment about point C. Let's take moment from right hand side of the point C. Okay, now here you can see that again this vertical reaction VB will generate anti-clockwise moment about point C which is equal to VB into 10. 10 is the distance between line of action of this reaction VB and point C. Now this horizontal reaction H will generate clockwise moment about point C which is equal to H into 3 where 3 is the distance between line of action of this H and point C. Okay, So I am getting H is equal to 12.5 kN. Okay, so value of H here is 12.5 kN. Now let's calculate RA. RA is the resultant reaction at point A, which is equal to under root VA square plus H square. VA as we calculated it is 6.25 and H as we calculated it is 12.5. So I am getting RA is equal to under root 6.25 square plus 12.5 square. So I am getting RA is equal to 13.97 kN. Similarly, we know that RB is equal to under root VB square plus H square. Where VB as we calculated it is 3.75. So if I put VB and H value over here, then I am getting RB is equal to 13.05 kN. Now we know that tan theta A is equal to VA upon H. 
value of V is 6.25 and H is 12.5. So I am getting 10 theta A is equal to 0.5. So theta A is equal to 26.56. Okay. Similarly, 10 theta B is equal to VB by H which is equal to 3.75 by 12.5. Therefore, I am getting 10 theta B is equal to 0.3. So, I can say that theta B is equal to 16.70. Okay. Now, let's move to step number 2. In step number 2, we will calculate thrust and shear. Okay. So, here we need to apply equation of parabola. Equation of parabola we already discussed which is equal to y is equal to 4r upon l square into x into l minus x. Now r is 3 meter and capital L is 20 meter. So if I put r is equal to 3 and l is equal to 20 in equation of y then I am getting y is equal to 4 into 3 upon 20 square into x into 20 minus x. Therefore, I can say that y is equal to x upon 33.33 in bracket 20 minus x. Now, if I take differentiation of this equation with respect to x, then I will get dy by dx which is equal to 10 theta which is equal to 20 upon 33.33 minus 2x upon 33.33. Now, at x is equal to 7.5 meter, 10 theta is equal to, here, for that, we need to replace x with 7.5 meter. Here, x is equal to 7.5 meter. So, in equation of 10 theta, we will replace x with 7.5 meter. So, I am getting value 0.15. So, theta is equal to 8.53. Now, we have value of theta which is 8.53. So, that by putting value of theta in sin theta and cos theta equation, I will get answer of sin theta and cos theta. So, th sin theta is equal to 0.148 and cos theta is equal to 0.988. Now, at x is equal to 7.5 meter from right edge hinge. Okay. So, here right edge hinge is at point B. Okay. And at point B, vertical reaction is V. So, we can say that V is equal to VB is equal to 3.75 kN which we already calculated and H is equal to 12.5. Now we have value of V and H so we can calculate radial shear. So radial shear F is equal to V cos theta minus H sin theta. Value of V it is 3.75. Remember here here right edge hinge is at point B and at point B reaction is VB. So I am taking V is equal to VB which is equal to 3.75 cos theta as we calculated 0.988 minus H into sin theta. H is equal to 12.5 and sin theta is 0.148 as we calculated. So, I am getting radial shear F is equal to 1.855 kN. Similarly, we can calculate normal thrust. So, normal thrust N is equal to what? V sin theta minus H cos theta. Here V is 3.75 sin theta is 0.148 cos theta is 0.988 and h is equal to 12.5. So, I am getting normal thrust n is equal to 12.90 kN. Now, let's move to step number 3. In step number 3, we will calculate bending moment at x is equal to 7.5 meter from right edge. Okay, so we need to calculate bending moment here. So, this is the arch, given arch. Okay. Now, when x is equal to 7.5 meter, we need to calculate y because we need to calculate moment at a distance 7.5 meter from point B. Okay, so that's why first of all we need to calculate y. So, here is the equation to calculate y. 
which is x upon 33.33 in bracket 20 minus x. So here x is equal to what? 7.5. So I am putting x is equal to 7.5 in this equation. Then I am getting y is equal to 2.81 meter. So when x is equal to 7.5 meter, y is equal to 2.81 meter. Now let's calculate moment at a distance 7.5 meter from point B. Okay. So here somewhere over here. Okay. So it will be 3.75 into 7.5 which is moment of this reaction VB about the section at a distance 7.5 meter from point B minus this horizontal reaction H will generate moment about this section which is equal to 12.5 into 2.81. So, I am getting M7.5 is equal to minus 7 kilonewton into meter. Now, let's move to step number 4. In step number 4, we will calculate maximum positive bending moment that will occur below the point low. Okay, so we know that maximum positive bending moment in this arch will occur below the point load. So, uh, when x is equal to 7.5 meter, because we know that uh, 10 kilonewton load is at a distance of 7.5 meter from the left hinge. Okay, so uh, again we will get y is equal to 2.81 because for calculating y we need to uh, put value of x is equal to 7.5 meter in this equation. So when we know that when x is equal to 7.5 meter, y is equal to 2.81 meter. So here we need, need not to calculate y again. Okay. Now let's calculate MP. MP is the moment at P. Okay. So which is equal to VA here at point A reaction is VA. And moment of this reaction VA about this section line will be equal to VA into X minus this horizontal reaction minus into Y. Okay. So here minus H into Y. VA as we calculated 6.25 and X is 7.5 minus horizontal reaction is 12.5 and Y is 2.81. So I am getting MP which is maximum positive bending moment is equal to 11.75 kN into meat. Now let's move to the last step of our numerical which is step number 5. In step number 5, we will calculate maximum negative bending moment that will occur in portion CB. So here in this given arch, maximum negative bending moment will occur in portion C to B. Okay. So uh, let us assume that it is at a distance X meter from point B. So here I am assuming that the maximum negative bending moment will occur at a distance of X meter from point B. So let's calculate Mx. Okay. So Mx is equal to 3.75 into X, which is moment of this reaction Vb from point X, which we assumed. Okay. Minus reaction uh, moment of this reaction H about the point at distance xx is equal to 12.5 into Y. So, we can say that Mx is equal to 3.75x minus 12.5 into, here is the equation of y. Equation of y is x upon 33.33 in bracket 20 minus x. Therefore, it is equal to 3.75 into x minus 7.5 into x plus 0.375 into x squared. Therefore, slope is equal to, I am differentiating this equation with respect to x. So, I am getting dmx by dx is equal to 3.75 minus 7.5 plus 0.375 into 2x which is equal to 0. Therefore, I am getting x is equal to 5 meter from point B. Okay, now let's put x is equal to 5 meter in equation of mx. So, mx is equal to 3.75 into 5 minus 7.5 into 5 plus 
25 in bracket 5 square. So I am getting mx is equal to minus 9.375 kilonewton into meter. So we have calculated maximum positive and negative both type of the bending moment in this given R and here is the bending moment diagram. So you can see that the maximum positive bending moment is occur which is equal to 11.75 at a distance 7.5 meter from point A which is a distance where point load is acting. And maximum negative bending moment is occur at a distance 5 meter from point B Okay, which is equal to 9.375 kilonewton into meter. So, this is end of the session. Thank you.